certainly has, TJ, and he's a true warrior. You know, he'll train and he'll fight two times in one month. He just, once he gets himself in shape, he goes all out, and that's it. Round number one underway. Now, again, in Muay Thai fighting, Frank, you're allowed to kick uh, both high and low, inside and outside of the legs, correct? Yes, you can kick uh, pretty much anywhere you want. Danny has great leg kicks. He follows all the way through. He turns his hips over. He's got excellent power. Good action early on here in round number one. Not necessarily a feeling out round that sometimes you'll get. And yeah, Melchie looks like he has great hands. He's got good hand movement, good hand speed. Nice combination there. Danny nods as if he gives respect. Boy, Nocho really taking it to his idol here, Danny Steele. Yeah, he has great combinations. He has more of a Thai style than Danny does, actually. There's an elbow, that was nice. Another nice elbow. That push kick he's throwing out there, it catches him in the stomach, it's really gonna wear Danny down. Wow. Looks like he's trying to wear him down. He's going to the body a lot. Nice sweep. Now in Muay Thai, that counts as a jab. That's not necessarily a knockdown. Uh, unless, unless when you go down, you can't get back up. Wow. Yeah, I think Melch is trying to wear down his body. He's trying to slow him down a little bit so he can get them hands in there. Then his legs are just too strong. What an exciting style of fighting, this Muay Thai kickboxing. Elbow to the back of the head. I don't believe that's legal, but. <laughs> Round number one coming to a close. Boy, round number one really, uh, I had to give to Melchor. Yeah, he definitely had the superior hands, superior kicks. I think Danny's trying to power him, trying to chop him down real heavy. Let's see if we can take a look at some of the elbows being thrown by Melchor. Let's start here, he'll miss that 
high kick, and then he comes in with some real. Great combination. He leads in with the jab, throws the elbow over the top. And then a little bit later on in the round, threw a great set of knees to the midsection. As you said, maybe trying to wear down Danny Steele here. Yeah. Excellent tie knees right there. In the corner with Danny Steele, Johnny Hernandez working on him, maybe trying to motivate Danny here. Off to a slow start in his return here to his hometown of Honolulu, Hawaii. He's always been a slow starter, Danny Steele has, but he's just tough, he's always hanging in there. He really likes that leg kick. Ooh. Ooh. He's had a front push kick that really has yeah. been uh, doing some damage to Danny Steele. Yeah, Danny Steele has a, a square style, he stands there pretty square. Really susceptible to that push kick. Melcher's using it to his advantage. Smart fighter there. Nice elbows. Melcher's got great elbows. What a great night of fighting so far here at the Blaisdell Arena. Melcher's doing a good job. He's, he's keeping his distance. He's keeping him away with that push kick and that jab. Not letting Danny set in for that big power leg kick. Right, Frank, that's exactly what Melcho is doing at this point, trying to keep the distance. Nice kick. And there is another sweep kick by Danny Steele. Again, not counted as a knockdown, but. He's working that push kick. He's really getting in there. Put that one square again. Danny Steele still coming forward. Uh, but can't quite get close enough. I'm a little frustrated here. Oh, but when sweet. he gets in with that sweep, almost demoralizing as much as anything. Yeah, it's hard to get up off the mat after you've been knocked down. It's just it's that much extra energy to pull yourself up. Knees. Melcher has great head control there. Controlling. I think Dan got to fake them hands and then get that leg kick in. He's just coming straight in with the leg kick. Kind of giving himself away. Danny Steele, born in Vietnam. His mom, when he was very young, moved here to Hawaii. He grew up in Hawaii, now he's residing in L.A., training in Los Angeles. No choice, still taking the fight to Danny Steele. No choice, Menor. Uh, a school in San Diego, California, Mel's House of Thunder. <laughs> we got some thunder here tonight. He's really putting it on. Spinning kick, ending the round strong, Danny Steele. Maybe Mel running out of gas at the end of the second round there. He's been real busy trying to keep Danny off of him. That's a lot of work. Let's take a look at some of those front push kicks again by Mel that have been so effective right here. Just keeping Danny away. Danny keeps coming forward and he keeps getting hit. Sometimes directly in the face. Well, not causing a lot of damage, certainly aggravating. He keeps coming, though. These are great kicks. Yeah, again, you see Danny just finishing strong. Round number two was close. I still may have to give it to Mel. What do you think, Frank? Yeah, I think Mel still got it. He's, he's still the superior uh, kickboxer here. Well, think, uh, Danny better pick it up. It's a five-round fight. I think Danny's going to pick it up here. He's about halfway. He's, 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 he's getting his leg shots in. He's, there we go. He's feeling it out. And again, those, those leg kicks really down low will, will take a lot of stamina out of a fighter and, and wear him down. <laughs> Shield biting by Danny. <laughs> 
two great warriors in the ring right now. <laughs> Well, pretty obvious that both these fighters came to fight here tonight. There's not been a moment without action. We're really mixing it up good. Ooh, another elbow to the back of the neck again. That's kind of an illegal move, but... Uh... <laughs> Referee Kim Konkrianka doesn't seem to mind it. Well, Danny's ducking underneath him, so he doesn't want to take him on top of the head. Risk a cut. Oh, these are wow. dangerous elbows. Danny can't stay in there on these. He needs to get out. He got there his hands in there. Cut. <laughs> what great action. The crowd really getting off on this here. Looks like Melch is slowing down quite a bit. His legs are getting a little tired. He's getting some chopped in there. And that push kick not thrown with near as much vigor as it had been in the first two rounds. Just sort of putting it out there now. Ooh. And there's that elbow to the back of the head again. And he feels corner now. Asking the referee to keep an eye on those elbows. And he says, no, that didn't hurt. Yeah, I think Mel may be in trouble here. Really, Danny's getting uh, maybe even his first win. Yeah, Danny needs oh. to go to work on them legs and chop him down. He needs to slow him down real good. Danny's still is such a well-conditioned athlete. And he's taking all this to the body and the push kick, and he just keeps coming. A spinning back elbow missed by Danny. Yeah, Mel's mouth is open. Maybe Danny's uh, strategy may be working here. Mel may have punched himself out in the first two rounds. Well, he's leaning on the rope. He's a little tired. That's Ben as Danny Steele right there, wow. chopping down the legs. Again, finishing the round strong. You see Johnny Hernandez real upset with those. Let's see if we can take a look at one of those. Blows I think may be illegal right here. Then he comes in right to the yeah. back of the neck. Yeah, that's an illegal blow. That's illegal. No, you should have pulled that. And this is just Danny finishing strong once again. He's got him hurt here. He's got him hurt. Well, that round, I think, goes to Danny Steele. Steele may be looking to finish Melchor here in the fourth. Well, he slowed him down enough. He ought to be able to get a knockout in if he uh, can get his hands down. Although, again, Mel fighting his idol. He's going to give everything he has. Round number four underway. Just barely gets up from that one. Yeah, they're starting to take the toll. Yeah, he's trying to fight his way out of the hole with uppercuts. Big breath being taken by Melchior Menor. Danny may be coming on stronger here, but he's not, Frank. Yeah, I think those shots to the body slowed him down a little, a little too much there. He doesn't have to fire. <laughs> Good kick by Mel. Oh. And drag himself up. It's hard to get off the mat. Nice. 
Dan needs to turn it on right here because Mel's hurt and he's tired. He can finish him right here. He needs to. He needs to chop them legs down, pull his hands down, and go for the knockout. He's going to the head now. He thinks he can take him down. Melcho Manor just hanging on now in round number four. Dan needs to stay on him. He needs to try and put him away here. He really, he really didn't follow through and finish here. Melchor landing a couple of knees. No Melchor coming on. Oh, nice Ooh. kick. Great high kick by Melchor Menor. Danny Steele may have missed his opportunity there in the fourth round. In a five round fight, losing the first two rounds. He needs to work Mel's legs. Mel's flat footed. He's, uh, his legs are pretty chopped up. Ooh, there's an elbow. Nice one. They've opened the cut. Yeah, he oh, cut him. The referee is. Got him with that underhanded elbow. Sending Danny Steele over to be looked at by the doctor. This would be a shame. Tough to see it from our angle. He's coming over more toward our corner. Yeah, that's a pretty good cut. Oh, that's a nasty cut. Yeah, that's probably it. That's a nice deep one. You're not going to be able to fight with that. Trying to get a hold of the doctor at ringside. Oh, that's a good cut. Only problem with elbows is they're designed to cut. That's all they're for. That's it. Is there no way? Yeah, that's it. Well, I, I could see the cut from here, and it was bad. Danny, of course, you know, uh, a warrior certainly would want to go on, but it looked like a, a real bad cut above the eye. You can't cut, You can't fight with a cut like that. No, Joe Menor is static here. By a cut, Melchor. Those are showing great respect here. Great sportsmanship, you're right. That's uh, Shaquille O'Neal over in that corner. <laughs> Let's take a look if we see where the cut opens up here. I think it was right there. Yeah, you got the cut him with that underhanded elbow. Sure. Right on the bone. We'll take a look at it from another angle here. Oh, right yeah. there, just hit it square. He saw his hole. He went right for it. As he said, you know, Melchor was running out of gas. This may be just after he hit his second elbow there. Well, a bit of a controversial decision. Yeah, it was a really impressive fight, though. You know, it, it could be, go either way. That's the that's the style of tie fighting. You get cut, you can't fight with it. Johnny Hernandez working on. Danny Steele there. Chris Robinson, the corner man from No Manor, also happy. Yeah, the both fighters really warriors in the ring. Could set up a great rematch here, right? Yeah, you could. This would be <laughs> an impressive rematch. This was a great fight. I would love to see this rematch personally. Just the techniques and, and the style.